you know, they declared a war on cancer in 1971, and I think it's about time we started winning that war. And, you know, I don't think failure is an option. I'm doing research in the lab of Professor Parch, and I'm, doing all, I'm also doing the same project in Professor Woodworth's lab. It's two phases to the project. We're working on nanoparticles for cancer. So the idea is that many therapeutics used now, uh, you experience drug resistance over time to them. So you'll kill most of the cells, but a small percentage remain. These wind up repopulating the tumor and making the tumor worse, and you don't have as good survival rates. So our job is to try to come up with drugs that will circumvent that. So what we're doing is we have a nanoparticle with a drug on it. So the idea is the nanoparticle will target the drug to the tumor, kill most of the cells as it normally does. You'll, you'll still be left with the remaining drug resistant cells. The nanoparticles will also though be accumulating in those cells, but since they're resistant, the drug isn't doing very much. After a certain amount of time, we can shine a near infrared laser onto those cells. It will heat up the gold nanoparticles and cook the cells. So you're killing them mechanically. It's a photothermal form of death. And this avoids a lot of the drug resistance mechanisms that we see now, and we think it will improve therapeutic outcomes. Cancer is obviously a really bad disease, and you know it's terrible that a lot of the drugs we have will seem like they work for a small amount of time, and then it just comes back. Like That's so heartbreaking, and I want to come up with something that gives a complete effect. You give them the drug, give them the therapy, and they're cured. That's my end goal. I want to cure cancer.